All right, let's have a look. Um, one of the MF question about how to get the V equation here. Okay, this question is saying something like this. Uh, it's in the Malay version uh, because it's one of the students actually sent the question to me. Raja di bawah menunjukkan sebuah kon terbalik dengan jejali tapak 12 cm dan tinggi 20 cm. Jika ketinggian air di dalam kon uh, tersebut ialah H, tunjukkan bahawa isi baru air V di dalam kon ialah V sama dengan 3 per 25 pi H kuasa 3. So, yeah, the student actually asking me like how to get this volume equation. Here actually you can see we have some, um, uh, um, this is the cone. And then this is the uh, water, lah, which is the I. So they asked us to how to find the volume uh, for the water. And then eventually we will get this equation. So in order to solve this question, right, um, you will need two information, which is uh, very important to get this equation. First, definitely um, you need to know uh, what is the volume of the cone. So yeah, so volume of the cone is something like this. This one will be the height of the cone, and then this one will be the radius, right? So here you can see, in this flash card, I actually told you what is the radius and height. So if I change to the other side, you should be able to see something like uh, volume equals to 1 over 3 pi r square h, isn't it? So this is the information you must memorize in order to solve this kind of questions. Okay, I'm not sure you can see or not. I hope you can see. And then second information you need to understand is about a uh, similar triangle. So because this one, if I rotate this one down, you can see it's sort of like the cone and then we have some uh, water here and then this one is the container, right? So this is the idea of the uh, similar triangle. So what the similar triangle here trying to tell you is if you have two similar triangle here, I can easily form an equation like saying something like this. Y over A will equals to the whole thing, which is Y plus X over B. So therefore, you can see, I have something like Y over A, and then will equals to the Y plus X over B. Do you see that? So if you can like uh, fully utilize this fresh card, yeah, these are the two cards I think uh, I want most of the students to actually memorize it so that when whenever you see some question like this, at least you have some idea on how to do this kind of question. Okay, let's see how to apply in this question. So first thing is you will draw out you will draw out this triangle you will draw out um, this triangle here. And then yeah, end up you will get something like this. So based on the similar triangle method just now, I can say R over the H, which is R over the H, will equal to the 12 divided by 20. 12 divided by 20. So my R will equal to, this one divided by 4 is 3, this one divided by 4 is 5. La. 3 over 5H. See, this is how to use the similar triangle methods to form the equation you, you need. And then once you got this one ready, because here will be the water, right? So we want to uh, form the volume of cone. So this is the reason why. Now I will apply my cone formula, which is 1 over 3 pi r square h. Okay, so when you practice this kind of cut, right, it's very important that you always like, okay, uh, flip to the other side. Okay, what's this volume of cone? 1 over 3 pi r square h. Then you come back here. What's this volume of cone? You ask yourself. If you still cannot memorize, then you flip again. 1 over 3 pi r square h. So you keep doing the same action until you can really memorize the volume of cone. Because Sometimes the volume of cone will not be given in SBM exam. So I want a uh, student who actually buy this fresh card, keep on practice until you really can memorize it. 
And but then for similar triangle, maybe you need to try to understand what is going on here before you practice lah. Or else you I don't want you to memorize this one uh without knowing what is going on here. So if any card you don't understand, you you can always PM me. I will try to explain to you uh, what the, that card actually mean. And I will continue make more video about the how to apply the flex card in the MF question. All right. So now what I'm doing is I will substitute my R into the R here. 3 over 5 H square H. And then by solving this one, I will get 1 over 3 pi. This one should be 9 over 25 if I square both of the number. H square and multiply H, total H, H cubed. Lah. Because H square multiply H, lah, H cubed. Then 3 and 9 I simplify. Then I should get something like 3 over 25 H power of 3. This is the volume. So is, is it the same equation they are looking for? 3 over 25 pi H cubed. My final answer also, 3 over 25 uh, Oh, there's a pi here, sorry. <laughs> pi h cubed. Alright, 